This call may be monitored or recorded for quality assurance purposes. Sweet. Right. I, they, in orientation, they told us, hey, you guys will get paid on Friday. Orientation was that Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Send me home Thursday because urine wasn't back. They said, okay, fr- Friday I was looking for on my com data card. I was looking for money. When I called, oh, sorry, your urine test is not back. We don't know what happened. And no, we can't um, pay you until you're, quote, unquote, actually an employee. Welcome back, drivers, to the Recruiter Call Channel, where we make the call for you. And in today's special edition of the MTC, we have a young lady that went through U.S. Express. She is here today to talk about her situation at the time. Now, let me just tell y'all, this has this recording is a pre-recorded call. We have talked to U.S. Express some time ago. So if you're just now hearing it now, things definitely had changed with U.S. Express. They are no longer an entity of themselves. They are now part of the Knight Swift Corporation. So in this MTC right here, we gave U Express a call to see what they had to offer. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. Okay. So Purple Rose. Okay. Your situation with U.S. Express. We we about to get them on the line in a minute because I'm I'm kind of flabbergasted at, at what we talked about in the background. Mm-hmm. But you, you, you telling you, you, you telling us that you you applied for U.S. Express. You mm-hmm. you went to orientation. They got they Correct. got they got you out there for orientation, and mm-hmm. they got you out there for the drug test. You took right. the, you took the hair follicle test and you took the the urine test. That the hair follicle test, to to my understanding, you passed, right? Mm-hmm. Came right back in two days. Two days, but the mm-hmm. urine, but the urine test didn't come back until ten days Almost later. Almost ten days. Yeah, because they sent me home on the seventeenth. I got back to Flint. Okay, on the seventeenth. Okay, so they sent you. So okay, they sent you home. While you was waiting for your hair follicle test? I mean, not hair follicle. No, but waiting for your... on the urine. On the urine. Okay. But everything else for the orientation, everything else was clear. You, you're you good, right? Right. So you but was I just... did not get paid. Okay. Now, we, we're going to talk about the pay in a minute. But okay. you, 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 ev- I mean, everything else was was good to go. We, we just sitting here waiting for your urine test to get back and then we'll bring you back out here and then we'll put you in the truck because you are coming in as an experienced driver, right? Mm-hmm. Correct. Okay. So 10 days. So let me revert yep. now let me revert this back to the recruiter. When you was talking to mm-hmm. the recruiter and getting everything set up with the recruiter, the recruiter did not let you know that that your urine uh, test was going to be 10 days. No, her response was, you're not the only one that I have. I have four other drivers. This has never happened before. I don't know what happened. Okay. Okay. Um, all right. All right. So theoretically they owe you for the time that you was there. Right. Correct. I'm I'm assuming mm-hmm. that, you know, that they say that you do get paid for orientation. Now, I'm under I did get paid. OK, so mm-hmm. I'm, I'm under the pretense of orientation, whether you I mean, if you're there throughout the entire orientation, mm-hmm. you should get paid whether or not you come on with them or not. They still owe you. So did they? pay you for orientation yes 
Okay. But it wasn't until the following week. Now, actually, I take that back. Yeah, it was. No, it was the following week because they still were waiting on my urine test. Uh, they told me. Uh-huh. OK, go ahead. No, no, no. Go ahead. I'm that sorry. Go I ahead. could not. I could not be considered an employee until both of my tests came back. Therefore, I could not get paid. OK, but you did get paid the orientation pay. Right. Yeah. The next week. Right. I, they, in orientation, they told us, hey, you guys will get paid on Friday. Oh, OK. Orientation was that Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Send oh. me home Thursday. Right. Because urine wasn't back. Right. They said, OK, fr- Friday I was looking for on my com data card. I was looking for money when right. I called. Oh, mm-hmm. sorry. Your urine test is not back. We don't know what happened. And no. We can't um, pay you until you're quote unquote actually an employee. Okay, but uh, but but purple, I'm I'm still getting confused. You got paid your orientation pay, right? Yes. Okay. But what does that mean? They still kept me sitting. Right. Because no, no listen, okay. listen. What I'm what I'm saying is, and what I'm trying to understand is that you got your orientation pay, right? Right. Okay, mm-hmm. so whatever the whatever the amount, we don't have to go in whatever the amount it was, but you mm-hmm. got for orientation, the time that you was there, you I got that. You got that. Okay. Okay. Now we're gonna move on from there. Now, while you're sitting at home waiting mm-hmm. for waiting for your urine to come through, you could not get paid whatever else until the urine came through and then they will actually have you as a company employee right mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. okay now when i was with us express i mean my urine came back but we had to wait for the um the what do you call it the uh the trainer so we had to wait mm-hmm. like a couple of weeks but i was getting it was it was money being generated, but I wasn't actually getting paid. I didn't actually get that money until I was actually seated on the truck. But that that's mm-hmm. that's diff, that's different for me. So, mm-hmm. um, while you are waiting uh, for mm-hmm. U.S. Express, they finally they finally called you back. And say, hey, everything is good. Uh, we want you to come on. Let's let's get ready to let's get ready to get you on. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately for you, you're going through some minor uh, financial problems. Mm-hmm. You ask them. You say, hey, can I get an advance? When you mm-hmm. asked when you asked them that, what was mm-hmm. their response? I talked to HR, not the guy who called me from Auburn, Indiana. I was told, oh, we no longer do that. So so let me see if I understand this. They they don't give advances, period. Or I'm just telling you what she I didn't go into nothing else. When I asked for an advance, I was told we no longer do that. That was the end. Uh, all right. So let's bring yeah. it. Let's let's bring it to the recruiter. Okay. Uh when you was talking to the recruiter or anything like that, did the recruiter kind of kind of hip you to the fact that it would take 10 days? And did they hip you to the fact that you wasn't able to get an advance? No, the recruiter said that once U.S. Express takes you on and, you know, you're talking to several different people, she's no longer in the picture and she was not aware. And I said, well, I've never had a drug test to take this long. However, I recently have with this on a ride. So I I was getting upset. I said, listen, I got to find a job. I'm not waiting on U.S. Express. I can't. And she said, well, you're not the only one. I have four drivers. She said, but I didn't know 
that they don't pay you until you're actually um, your drug test actually comes in. In your opinion, she Purple, said I didn't know that. In your opinion, Purple, should they know that? Uh, yes. I feel like when, which we all know how recruiters do. They're just trying to get a body in that seat. But I felt like she should have told me. Like, I haven't checked my crime data card since they paid me for those three days orientation. Mm -hmm. I pulled the money off of there. That was it. So when they finally called, I said, no, I'm not coming. I don't have any money to come. Right. I went and paid my dues. All right. I went to orientation. All right. Let's um mm -hmm. let's uh let me talk to him for a little bit. Hey, how you doing? Um, so I got a friend of mine uh that you know I I'm I'm interested in what you guys got to offer. I went to the website and I, you know, I checked it out and everything. Uh Plus, I got a friend of mine that that uh, drives for you guys, but I don't have his name, so you guys can give him the referral. But um, but um, I'm just curious to know uh, a few things, if you don't mind me asking. Um, I'm out of Ohio, okay. I'm out of Ohio. Um, where where would I where would I go for like if I'm if I'm to come in to you guys, where would I go for orientation? And how long is orientation? That depends on what account it is you're going with. If you're going on a U.S. Express account or a variant account mm -hmm. um, as to where you go for orientation. Okay. So I, 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 I heard a lot about variant. I'm, I'm, I don't think I would, I don't think I'm interested in, in, in variant considering. Okay. Then the U.S. Express. But U.S. Express. Is yeah. on Ohio. Oh, I didn't hear you. I'm sorry, man. What'd you say? Springfield, Ohio. Okay. Awesome. Okay. So if I, if, if, you know, if I go through U.S. Express in Springfield, how, how long is the orientation? It's the three day orientation. Now, can I ask you a question? Can, do I get paid for the orientation? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, here, now, I've been driving for about eight years. Now, the question I'm about to ask you, like, if I come in, let's say I come in for the three days and whatever whatever the case, whether I, you know, get put on with U.S. Express or not, do I still get paid? No, sir. If you do not get hired on with U.S. Express, you do not get your orientation paid. Oh, okay. Okay. See, that's where I was confused at. Because I I was just wondering if I come on, and so that's for whatever reason. Like if U.S. Express rejects me during orientation, or if I decide to leave during orientation, right? I I I, I won't get my I I won't get my orientation pay. Correct. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, I, I don't, I, I don't foresee myself having any issues <laughs> um, for pre-employment drug tests though. Do you guys do hair follicles or urine or both? No. Oh, okay. Okay. Both full. Okay. Um, how long, how, how long is the, how long is the wait for, you know, to get back the, 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 the results? You normally get them by the end of orientation. They get them and, and finish out the hiring process. Oh, okay. So at so at the end of three days before I get in the truck, you guys should have my uh, results back. We will not see you in the truck until we have your drug screen results back. Right, right, right. And you and and you just said that we should we we should see it back after the end of our our orientation, right? Correct. Oh, okay. Correct. Is there is there any foresee foreseeable reason why the urine would take so long if it don't come back after the you know after the orientation? No, we normally are waiting on the hair test. Oh, okay. So how what will be the average on the hair test? Uh, 
Why? That really all depends, sir. I don't have an average on that for you. I mean, you just have to go and take the drug screens and they mm-hmm. come back, the results come back whenever they mm-hmm. are come back from the lab. Oh, okay. 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 Um, do you guys have lanes in, I mean, do you guys run Canada? No, sir. Oh, okay. Okay. Do I need, do I need my hazmat for, uh, for anything? No, sir. Not necessarily. Oh, okay. Um, I do got my tankers though. Um, my hazmat, I'm pretty, I'm, I'm working on my hazmat, but I do got my, uh, got my tankers. Okay, so Springfield, uh, Ohio. I'm out of Ohio, of course. That won't be that won't be a problem. Uh, what would be my now? I'm like I said before. Uh, I've been driving for seven years, going on eight. What would be the mileage pay for me coming in? I don't know, honey. It depends on what account it is you're looking forward looking for. Everything is different. Oh, okay. Well, what? Well, what account? Well. I have home weekly touch rate and I have over the road in your area. What is it you're looking for? All right. So regional. What 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 you got what you got for regional? I like to come home. Like I said, it's touch rate. Are you okay with unloading the truck? Oh, okay. You're talking about the dollar accounts. Um I mean I I'm a hefty guy. I I don't I don't I don't see nothing wrong with you know, I've seen videos. (laughs) <laughs> Luckily for me, there's YouTube. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Well, Let's see the code and I'll look and see if I have one in your area. Hold on, I didn't hear you. What'd you say, ma'am? What's your zip code so I can see if I have one in your area? It doesn't cover all of Ohio. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, well, my zip code, 44108. Unfortunately, you are too far north. I wouldn't have anything for you, but over the road. Oh, okay. All right. Well, over over the road shouldn't be uh, too much. Uh, what what as far as over the road? How long you guys inspected me to be out before I could see my home time? Out for twelve days and home for two, and it's either fifty six or sixty cents per mile. Oh, uh, you okay? So you say it's either fifty six or or 50 cent per mile? No, sir. 56 or 60. Oh, 60. 60. Okay. Okay. Uh, is that 60 capped or would I be able to get raises on top of that 60? That's the only cents per mile I know is 56 and 60. Oh, okay. 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 Um, the trucks, uh, what 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 equipment I be driving and do they come with APUs and stuff like that? Freightliners, internationals, and Kenworths, and yes, they have both an inverter and an APU. Oh, okay, awesome. What about what about driver cams though? It's only audio in the truck. Only. Oh, that's different. So, I I don't have a camera, but I have an audio. Thing. Can you explain that? Yes, sir. I I don't know how to explain it, but that, hun. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, force dispatch. Well, I'm I'm kind of assuming you are, but I have to ask. Except for New York City, yes, sir. Oh, okay, okay. But y'all y'all do run up in the in the northeast, though. Yes, sir. Our primary freight east of I thirty five. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, pet and rider policy, and how young can I bring my rider? They have to be at least 10, and the pet limit is 80-pound weight limit and only one. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, well, I got a, I got a cat, so I, I, I think the cat will probably be, <laughs> will probably be okay, right? Um. Yes, sir. Um. Now I don't have an issue with this, but you know I'm in a Facebook group, so I, you know, I'm I'm around drivers that usually ask this question. But uh, I'm just kind of wondering: Do you guys accept SAP drivers? No, sir, we do not. Oh, okay. And what's the sign-on bonus, if any, and how is it paid out? There's not one. Oh, no sign-on bonus. No, sir, no sign-on bonus. Oh, okay. 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 Cool. Well, uh, thank you very much, ma'am.
Um, like I said, I'm still interested. I would go ahead and finish talking to the to the driver that I know that drives for you guys, and I'll you know chop it up with him, and I could probably get his name and put it on the put it on the application so he can get the referral bonus if any. So thank you. Yes, that sounds good. Have a good day. Hey, bye bye. You too. Now. All right. Mm-hmm. U.S. Express. Uh, there you have it. U.S. Express. Uh, they have what? They, wow. Well, from the information that uh, that I got, or, you know, that I got was mm-hmm. that as far as the urine, uh, she says that they, that normally they wait for the hair follicle test to come back. But you said that the hair for you, the hair follicles came back quick and you had to wait how many days for the urine? Down near 10, me. So 10 days. But mm-hmm. she says as far as the urine she goes. Li- she's a recruiter. She mm. lying. She don't know. Mm. I was there. I'm telling you, Sean, I was there. My hair, everybody else was getting um seated, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And all four of us were like, hey, what's going on? Oh, we haven't gotten your, your urine test back. Now, I take medication. Don't have a problem. Have my medication bottles. They call me, talk to them on the hair. Mm-hmm. Sent them a picture of the medication. She was like, oh, okay, you're fine. Right. But U.S. Express said, oh, no, you got to wait on your urine. Hmm. Every day when I got back, I'm calling them literally every other day. Oh, your urine is not back yet. But you have my hair. It's clean. So, man, by that time, it was nothing more I could do. I, I said, I'm, I'm not, I would never go on the road again without no money. Never. All right. Mm-hmm. So, so U.S. Express, guys, as you guys heard, um, well, for my area, uh, Cleveland, and, I, and I'm. This is kind of different because there's a whole lot of family dollar. <laughs> there's a whole lot of family mm-hmm. dollars in my in my particular area. The the area code that I gave her. I'm I'm in an area with. There's a family dollar on Eddie Road. There's a family dollar on 105. There's a family dollar mm-hmm. on Superior. So there's like that. There's like three of them right there in my in, in my general area, which she says that it's not available. I I'm I'm scratching mm-hmm. my head and I don't understand why, but it is cool because you know I'm as I told her you know. I, you know, I told her that, you know, touch freight, no problem. But in actuality, guys, mm-hmm. you know how I feel about the dollar accounts. Not a fan. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Not not a fan. Right. So, but it it seems as though you guys will definitely get paid different. I'm not sure of the pay variance. Uh I had a I had a friend uh years ago that did the dollar accounts. We we talked about that. Uh, when he had his time with uh, U.S. Express, I'll make sure I'll link that conversation in the description. But uh, what do you guys? What do you guys think? I mean, we and we only talked about the U.S. Express side and not the variant side. So I'm I'm mm-hmm. assuming that the variant side will probably be different. Now, they don't have a sign-on bonus. That's that's a first. That's a first. I, mm-hmm. I could have sworn that I saw a sign-on bonus for U.S. Express, but I'm not sure if that was for teams. But that's mm-hmm. a first that U.S. Express is not giving no sign-on bonus. What was... Did they offer you a sign-on bonus, uh, Purple? No. No. No sign-on bonus. See, they didn't say nothing about a sign-on bonus. Nothing. No wow. conversation. Wow. And I'm the type, I was asking many, many questions because mm-hmm. I wanted to make sure. But nope, no sign-on bonus. No sign-on bonus with U.S. Express, guys. That's, I, when I started, 
there was a sign-on bonus and a tuition pay bonus. So, woo! I, I guess I and guess the rumors I is was true. In, I was in Springfield, Ohio. Oh, you went that's to, where I went for orientation. You went to Springfield. I that's where that's where my orientation was at, guys. Y'all knew I drove mm -hmm. for US Express, and my my orientation was in Springfield, right there. Right off the right yep. off the highway, right across the street from uh right across the street from the from the hotel. And I think there's a few other things in the uh in the area. But uh -huh. um, now the Springfield terminal, I mean, it wasn't a bad terminal. I I, I it wasn't a bad terminal. Mm -hmm. The only thing I, and I guess the only thing that I didn't like about US Express is the fact that you gotta check in with a guard. Or at the guard shack at all right. the, at all of their terminals. They they have right. a guard shack. And in order to leave, you either have to have a load or you have to get permission to leave. So yeah. I, I wasn't I wasn't a fan of all of that. So yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they still yeah. do it to this day. I'm they still do it. They, they still, still do, do it, it to this day. Yeah. I'm I'm, mm -hmm. I'm not a fan. Um, Purple, before we get on up out of mm -hmm. here, and thank you very much for being on this uh, episode of the MTC. Um, did, did, when you went for your orientation, uh, did you mm -hmm. have to, did you have to drive the truck? And if so, uh, what truck did you, what truck did you drive for your drive test? And how far did they have you out for it? I um I want to say it was a Freightliner. I can't re quite remember, mm -hmm. but it literally was just in a circle. It was in a circle, and then when it was time to do your backing, mm -hmm. ten people went out at a time. Mm -hmm. You did your backing, and that was it. All right. All there right. were a, a few people who had to have enhanced backing to, or you know, enhanced in tests. They enhanced? had to have help, but. Oh, help. Yeah, that's help. what they call it. Help. Oh, help. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But other than that, that's that's all it was. Ooh, it was real one, simple. Oh, one more one more question, Purple, being that you you just mm -hmm. recently uh did US Express orientation. Did you guys have to mm -hmm. do any type of 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 health performance, like lifting the box, going up under the going up under the mm -hmm. table or going up under none the of that. none none of that. None of that. None of that. None of that. Mm -mm. We just went in. Nope. Went in, sat on a computer, mm -hmm. answered your questions. Mm -hmm. Third day, they mm -hmm. give you everything, you know. And, but no, we didn't do any of that. None of that. I, I remember going in. We had to duck walk up under the, up, up under like a stairs right. in the, in the, um, in the shop area. They had like a makeshift, uh, they had like right. a makeshift, you know, uh, platform that's about the same that's about the same width as you was to walk up under the trailer we had to duck walk right. up under there without touching the i had to take my hat off and we had mm -hmm. to duck walk under there without touching the you know top of the thing then we had to we had to do a press like a, a 50 a 50 pound press up against the wall and then for mm -hmm. the for the dollar accounts we had to do um we had to walk like 10 steps forward 10 steps back with about 50 pounds in our hands so you you guys didn't have to do that 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 wasn't no nope. wow nobody nobody had to do that no nope. mm. all right guys what well, there so you they have. changed oh. a lot oh uh, they you say they changed a lot huh yeah mhm mm all right. Uh, one last question. Do you think if you would have went for the variant side, you would have had the same experience? Um, well, we were told when we got there, don't even apply for variant. Oh. Because variant and U.S. Express were Are going to be merging. splitting up. So they, they No, mer not merging. Splitting up. Like splitting up but how? I couldn't understand. I'm just telling you the exact words. Okay. Um. And I couldn't understand that because I only seen a few, maybe four or five variant tractors mm -hmm. and the U.S. Express trailer. So, but we were discouraged 
Mm. Um, and actually, I was supposed to go regional, Auburn, Indiana, pulling Walmart. You know, but yeah. like I said, it took four of us a long time to get our urine test back and we just couldn't understand it All and right. you don't talk to the same person each time so i was just thoroughly i just you was you done. you was pretty much discouraged so all right yeah. guys yeah. that's uh that's gonna do it uh thank you very much to purple purple rose purple rose purple rain <laughs> purple rose uh, for coming on and uh, joining us on this uh, special edition of the MTC, we checked out uh, U.S. Express again. <laughs> U.S. <laughs> Express again. Uh, one of my order mm -hmm. models, U.S. Express. Um, mm -hmm. If you guys want to know more about U.S. Express, the information will be in the description below. And as always, we invite any drivers that have driven or drive for U.S. Express to come on and share your experience with U.S. Express and or variant. I might have to make the call to variant uh, again. That will probably be next year. Well, this year. I'm going to switch it up because mm -hmm. this episode might not come out until next year. So I probably might be cutting all mm -hmm. that part out. But anyway, <laughs> uh, that's it. Who's next? Who's next? Who's next?